Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFurniture.com with another Android app review. So you're on your phone and uh, you want to send a, a maybe a print screen of an app or a web page or anything on your phone to someone, but you want to annotate it, you want to mark it up, you want to indicate something on it. How in the world can you do that? Well, with today's app, you can do that. Before we get to that, just want to remind you that uh, this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com, which is the best place on the internet to get really cool NFC tags and Android-themed uh, keychains and NFC stuff for use with your Android phone. So head on over to AndyTags.com after the review. So today's app is called Floating Draw, and quite simply, it allows you to uh, have a sort of a floating invisible screen over anything you're viewing, and uh, you can annotate it. You can draw on it. You can uh, type on it, uh, and then you can save that as a uh, picture that you can then send to someone. I know it sounds kind of confusing, but once we get on my phone, you'll see it's very simple and it works flawlessly. So uh, let's do that. Let's get on my phone, and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so here we are inside of my app drawer, and as you can see right there is the app Floating Draw. And basically whenever you're ready to use the app, you just, in essence, open the app. Looks like nothing's happening, but something did happen. There's a little, in the bo bottom uh, left-hand corner of my phone, there's a little pen, pencil, crayon, whatever you want to call it. And that means Floating Draw is uh, there and ready to go. So now you just browse to whatever you want to browse to. Let's say, for example, I'm going to open Dill News because it's one of my favorite apps to find good deals. Let's say you find something on here that's really cool, like Mr. Clean Magic Eraser Pads. Those are so cool. I can't resist them. I have to buy them. I'm going to uh, send a message to someone and let them know. So I'm going to hit that little pen or pencil crayon, and it brings up the uh, little dock down at the bottom. Uh, allows you to change the color, allows you to change the tool you're using. You can save uh, what you've done, you can delete, um, and you can close the app entirely. So first let's uh, change the color. Let's go with uh, red. And I'm going to now circle that because that's what I want to buy. And now we're going to change the tool. You see you have a uh, uh, fill. You have paintbrush, you have text, and you have shapes. So let's do uh, text. So I'm going to press that. And now I'm going to tap the screen where I want it, and I can slide my finger, to, as you see, to make it bigger or smaller. So I'm going to, I think that's the size I want it right there. When I let go, the keyboard's going to come up, and I'm going to say, buy this. And I hit return to go to the next level and said now. When I'm done, I just hit return. And then I can tap down here at the bottom. And my bar comes back up so that I can choose another option. Uh, now just to show you what else you can do, uh, I'm going to choose a shape, let's say a circle. And then I'm going to change the color to purple. And I'm going to, because I could circle this this way too, uh, there we go. As you see, I can draw a circle. Or I can do another one down here just for fun, just to show you what you can do. I'm going to change again and choose the fill. And now, if I uh, tap this, as you see, it fills it. Uh, now, if you save this, uh, at least for right now, and on my phone, when I save it, it only saves the drawings I've done. It doesn't actually save the screenshot. If you want a screenshot, then that's very simple. All you got to do is hit the little return button so that the bar goes away. And then on my phone, you run your palm across the screen and it does a screenshot. Uh, your phone may be different, but however you do it, you do a screenshot. And uh, you can do that. The little uh, uh, drawing pencil thingy is still down there. So if you want to add something, you can press it and you can add something. But uh, if you're done, then you can just X out, and it goes away. But as you can see, I captured a screenshot. So I'll open that up so you can see. Here's my uh, screenshot. It has all my annotations on it. 
So this is a great way to, uh, you know, to do annotations uh, of things you have on your phone that you want to, uh, you know, write something on or circle or whatever you want to do. The point is that it allows you to do it, and um, all you got to do is use that app. I have it uh, right here on my phone. So anytime I want to annotate something, just do that, and then uh, I can go to the br browse to the app I want to annotate. Or I can just use it even, you know, right there on my home screen, I can use it and say this, you know. And of course you can write with, I can write with my chicken scratch if I don't feel like typing, a little bit faster than the typing would be. Um, and then when you're done, uh, you just hit the return button and for my phone, just do that to do a screenshot. I have the Galaxy S3. If you have a Samsung, a recent Samsung, that's probably how it does it. If you have another phone, then your screenshots are probably different, but undoubtedly you have a way to do screenshots as well. So uh, that's pretty much it. And then when you're done with it, X out of it, and it's all gone. That was the app Floating Draw. Um, as you can see, it, it works great, and it's very simple to use, and it uh, definitely makes... Uh, annotating an app or a web page or anything on your phone a whole lot easier um, to get it done and then send it off to somebody or save it for yourself whatever you need to do so head over to google play and pick it up if you like this review please click the like button remember to share the review with uh, your friends especially anyone you know who has an android phone and could use the app and uh, that's about it if you have questions or anything leave them below uh, I do my best to answer questions uh, as, as quickly as I can when people leave them um, or comment. Uh, if you want to leave a funny, sarcastic comment, sometimes people do that, feel free. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.